Well, welcome to the 700 Club. President Trump's campaign focused mainly on domestic issues, like the economy and illegal immigration. But in his first few months in the White House, he's facing serious international problems from Syria to North Korea. So now the president's reaching out to leaders around the world to help prevent these crises from turning into wars. Dale Hurd has the story. The Kremlin says Russian President Vladimir Putin and President Trump agreed during a phone call to step up U.S.-Russian diplomatic efforts on Syria. It could signal a thaw after some, including the president, have said relations between Moscow and Washington are at an all-time low. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson in Saudi Arabia. Well, it was a very constructive call that the two presidents had. Very, very fulsome call, a lot of detailed exchanges. So we'll see where we go from here. The White House said the two leaders discussed setting up safe zones in Syria. The U.S. is also working with China on a stronger U.N. Security Council response to North Korea, including sanctions. After Pyongyang's repeated ballistic missile launches, the most recent missile test on Friday failed. And Congress has passed legislation that would intensify financial pressure on the North. Military pressure is also being brought to bear. U.S. Air Force B-1 bombers have conducted what are called presence missions near the Korean Peninsula twice in the past two weeks. In a move designed to show North Korean leader Kim Jong-un what he's up against. A THAAD, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Missile System, is now operational in South Korea. That angers China, which sees it as a threat to its security, and Beijing has demanded its removal. It's even triggered protest by some South Koreans, the people it was sent to defend. The Trump administration has been greeted by so many foreign policy crises in its first 100 days. One political cartoon shows Barack Obama tossing President Trump a foreign policy hand grenade. In addition to North Korea and Syria, there's also Iran's nuclear program and ISIS. And none of them look to be resolved anytime soon. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Well, President Trump is meeting with another foreign leader today, the head of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas. John Jessup has that story from our CBN News Bureau in Washington. John? Thanks, Gordon. The president will press Abbas on a key issue, to stop spending payments, sending payments to the families of Palestinians who are in prison for attacks against Israelis. Republican senators and others in Congress argue that the U.S. cannot treat the Palestinians as a peace partner as long as they reward terrorists. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is also urging Palestinians to stop funding terrorists that kill Israelis. But Abbas is unlikely to stop the payments. Trump and Abbas will also discuss other issues involving peace between the Palestinians and Israelis. Well, President Trump promised to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel on the campaign trail last year. Now Vice President Pence says the Commander-in-Chief is looking into that idea. The President of the United States, as we speak, is giving serious consideration to moving the American Embassy in Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. But moving the embassy to Jerusalem has serious political implications. Palestinians want East Jerusalem as a future capital of their own state. Israel captured East Jerusalem in 1967 during the Six-Day War. Well, UNESCO, the United Nations Education, Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, passed a resolution Tuesday that disavows Israel's sovereignty over Jerusalem. Prime Minister Netanyahu called the move absurd and pointed out that fewer countries supported the motion this time than have gone along with similar moves in the past. Netanyahu worked with several countries to oppose the resolution. The United States was one of the nations voting against it. The vote was taken on Israel's celebration of its 69th Independence Day. Now, last week, all 100 U.S. senators signed a letter to the United Nations Secretary General urging him, Gordon, to improve the U.N.'s treatment of Israel. Well, I'm not expecting the U.N. to change its posture towards Israel. Just over the past two years, there have been 20 resolutions condemning Israel, only three condemning other nations. And why is Israel such a target? Well, you need to know the history. You also need to know the Bible. The Bible predicts that all nations will gather against Jerusalem, uh, and we're seeing the beginnings of that. The Bible also predicted uh, that one day Jerusalem would no longer be trodden under the, the foot of the Gentile. 
And that was fulfilled. These are the words of Jesus. That was fulfilled in 1967. You need to know this history. You need to know how the state of Israel, Israel came into being, the modern state, how Jerusalem became once again the unified capital of Israel. And when you have that information, when you look at today's headlines, you'll be able to understand why. Why is this happening? Why is it happening in face of, of the Bible? Why is it happening in face of, of what Israel did in 1967? And so to allow you to get this information, we've got a wonderful movie for you. It's called In Our Hands, The Battle for Jerusalem. It'll be available in theaters one day only on May 23. And that's the day on the Jewish calendar when we celebrate the reunification of, of Jerusalem. So when you see that, these headlines, what UNESCO is doing, what the Palestinian Authority is doing, what the UN is doing, uh, you'll know the real history of what happened in 1967. So if you want more information, go to the website, inourhands1967.com. There's a place where you can type in your zip code and find a theater near you. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club after this. William Roy had his future all planned out, including a comfortable retirement. Then his wife Peggy became seriously ill and William had to come up with another plan. After working as a plant manager for nearly 40 years, William Roy was looking forward to retirement. But in 2013, those plans were put on hold after his wife Peggy developed Alzheimer's and later died. During those years of uncertainty, William became anxious about their financial future. It became apparent that I'm not gonna be able to, uh, to complete my plan. I'm gonna have to retire a year earlier than I thought so I could be home and be with her and not have to work. William knew he needed a new financial plan that would provide the best medical care for his wife and adequate income for the future. As a Christian, he had heard about the principle of tithing, but he never put it into practice. Now, he decided it was time to give it a try. All that money that I earned in the past, I should have been tithing for to show my appreciation and to help others. It wasn't until uh, my wife got sick that all of a sudden that shook me for the first time. So William began to tithe, and he also became a CBN partner. I really a strong appreciation for, for what they do. It's helping their little farm to flourish. CBN fills people's souls, but it fills their stomachs first. It's a full service organization. William says it wasn't long before he saw changes. The company told me that they were going to uh, significantly increase a stock option that I had. But when I received the offer for the shares, they were trading in the $30 range. And by the end of the year, they were at $90. So not only did I have more shares, the value of the shares tripled. The following year brought more unexpected blessings. When his company doubled their profits, William was given a double size bonus to match. I ended up uh, on 2015 being the highest earnings that I'd ever had any time in my life. The following year, William's income increased again. All this enabled him to retire securely and then to care for his wife Peggy at home for a full year before she died. I started tithing because of the promise the Lord made. The Lord said he would do it and he did it. But what I didn't expect was the comfort that I got, the peace of mind. I never actually missed the money, uh, and I gained so much more. I never missed the money, but I gained so much more. Here's the promise from Malachi. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and prove me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven, and pour out a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Uh, don't be in a situation where you, you look at tithing when times get hard. Realize the blessing of it, that when you obey God, when you, when you obey His commandments, how He set up life for us to, be, uh, for us to enjoy it. Uh, it's like many who, who don't uh, observe the Sabbath. When you start observing the Sabbath, a true day of rest, where you focus in on Him and makes your life so much better. It's the same with tithing. When you do this, He opens the windows of heaven and pour out, pours out a blessing you can't contain. 
What William found, you can found, find too. All you have to do is put the same principle into practice. Well, like many Americans, Sue Ellen Johnson lived from paycheck to paycheck. She had trouble sleeping at night because she was worried that just one extra expense would mean disaster for her family. Then one Sunday, her pastor dared his congregation to take a risk with their finances. And he also offered them a money back guarantee. When you're living paycheck to paycheck, essentially, that's what we were doing, living paycheck to paycheck. And it is very stressful. And so you're trying to live your life and enjoy things, but constantly thinking, okay, now if we do this, I've got to pay for that. Sue Ellen and Jean Johnson were like many American families living paycheck to paycheck. Very little or no savings, just looking for a way out. It's just a constant juggling of your money to try to make ends meet. When the Johnsons married 20 years ago, Jean's small but steady salary provided for the couple's needs. But as their family and living expenses grew, their income stayed the same. My husband is not comfortable on camera talking about this, but he is more than willing for me to talk about it. Every dollar that we had in our budget was allocated, and it would worry me to the point where there'd be nights that I wouldn't sleep. And it feels like a noose around your neck that drags you down. Then, Gene's company cut out all over time. He was not getting cost of living raises. I know what we have to survive off of, and that's what I felt like we were doing, surviving. The unrelenting stress began to take a toll on the Johnsons' marriage. Their arguments went something like this. I'm not working because I'm home with the children. I'm taking care of them, so it's his responsibility to make the money. And then he feels like I'm doing the best I can. I think there's resentment, you know. You know, you've got to do better. Even though I know he is doing the best that he could, there seemed to be no way out of the financial struggle. Until one Sunday morning, the Johnson's pastor taught about the importance of tithing and giving. And then he made an offer too good to refuse. If you will commit to tithe 10% of your income, if in that time you don't see a difference in your income, then he would refund every dime we've given. We were kind of looking at each other thinking, who does that? He must really have a lot of faith in what he's saying. Me and my husband were in church together that day. And he has, you know, looked at me and I looked at him and he's like, what have we got to lose? In the past, the couple occasionally gave to their church and to CBN. But tithing 10% of their income was challenging, even with a guaranteed refund. 10% of your income is a lot of money. 10% is a, um, it's a light bill. 10% is a car payment. When we started out tithing, we didn't see immediate results. I had to quit thinking with my mind and I had to just believe that God is true to what he says. Six months later, Sue Ellen says the changes were undeniable. First, Jean's company restored overtime. Then they sold a piece of land under nearly impossible conditions. And the first thing the Johnsons did with their profit? We took the money from that sale of the land and 10% of that, we tithed that too. Within several years, the Johnsons income had doubled through raises and overtime pay. He just had so much work almost more than he could do. Which enabled them to give even more to their church and to CBN. I'm sowing into good ground, and I knew that the 700 Club was an honest, godly thing that I wanted to be a part of. I get to see testimonies of how people's lives are changed. I mean, what a blessing that he chooses me to help other people, and that now I'm able to do that because I have the extra money that I can help other people. Time has changed me totally. It's not just a financial thing. It really changed me emotionally, physically. I enjoy my family like God would want me to. We are so much closer. We don't argue. It's wonderful. I want other people to experience what I experienced. I want them to know that God is true to His Word and that what He says, He will do. God is true to His Word. He watches over it to perform it. Here's something from 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each make up your own mind as to how much you should give, for God loves the person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. 
Sue Ellen took the challenge. She said, okay, I'll, I'll give 10%. And she acknowledged, that's a lot of money. That's a light bill. And she started. She didn't see an uh, immediate results. But after six months, she could say, it's undeniable. My life is better when I tithe. That same thing will happen to you if you follow the same principle. Now, if I get a, a drum roll, some partners from Oklahoma say, we love giving to CBN so much, we want to challenge others to give. And so they will match your giving dollar for dollar, $75,000. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to issue the challenge. And we ask for blessing for those who are watching, making decisions now. Encourage them, Lord God. Bless them. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 75,000 is the challenge amount. <coughs> Numbers on the screen, 1-800-707,000. What are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's just $20 a month. 65 cents a day. You can also join at 700 Club Gold. That's $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level you decide, do it cheerfully, because God loves a cheerful giver, and do it right now. 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, I've got something to make you cheerful about. When you join the 700 Club, our way of saying thank you is to send you Pat Robertson's latest DVD called Miracles. In this, you're going to meet real people with amazing true stories of God's supernatural power in their lives. And you'll get the keys to unlocking that very same power in your own life. Am I going to be mentally OK, or is this it? I literally found myself screaming, don't take it. Six months will be a long time for you to live. Those were exact words. He was dead. I mean, I knew it was God. I, I knew he'd answered our prayers. His chances for surviving would be less than one-tenth of one percent. Truly miraculous. It's definitely a miracle. I felt God saying, I am in complete control. You do realize we've all just witnessed a miracle. Miracles happen every day. The power of God is at work in the world around us. One of the things Pat talks about on this DVD is how do you and I tap into that miracle power? We want you to have this. It's our way of saying thank you for caring about others and thank you for actively going to your phone and becoming a part of the difference we can make together around the world. Our number's toll free. It's 1-800-707-7000. Please call now. Just say, I want to join the 700 Club. We welcome you. Gordon? Well, not long ago, Brian Bryce was so deep in debt that he had to choose which of his bills to pay each month. He was down to his last $5. But instead of spending it, he used it to help people who were even worse off than he was. Brian Bryce was making a good living as a chef at a little Italian restaurant in Killeen, Texas. But no matter how many hours he worked, the bills didn't get paid because Brian's top priorities were alcohol and drugs. I was a slave to my addictions. They were in control, not me. So he started borrowing from his boss against his paycheck. Once I borrowed a little money from that check, I ended up with less money on the next one, so it, it just kind of snowballed. I kept having to borrow and having to borrow, and it got to the point where I was deciding which of the utilities, which ones were gonna get cut off. Water was getting shut off on a regular basis. One night, when he felt like he couldn't take any more, Brian broke down and prayed. I cried out to God to kill me. I asked him to take me home because if this was my life, I didn't want to be here. And as I was crying out to him, that's when I felt his arms wrap me up and lift me up saying, you're my son, and I'll never let you go. He had been right there with me the whole time, and I just, had failed to see him. Suddenly, all of Brian's addictions were gone. He healed me in a second. It was like being alive for the first time. 
without his expensive habits, he was paying down his debts. He even started giving money away. I was down to my last five bucks and I said, Lord, you know, this is for you. I actually mailed that one into CBN. He sees your heart, he sees your pain, he sees your tears. My only source of spiritual food was basically watching pastors on television and watching the CBN. While Brian was paying off all of his debts, he started going to church and tithing and continued to give to the 700 Club. I just loved a lot of the ministries that I saw about wells being dug for people in third world countries who had nothing and seeing the work that Operation Blessing was doing across the world and right here at home, it made me feel like I could be a part of that. Brian says as he gave, he received. As one of the members of my congregation decided that she was going to move out of nowhere, she gave me new furniture and she saw me in need. I was paying for a taxi to go to and from work over 300 bucks a month. And instead of selling her car, she decided just to give it to me. Brian still works as a chef and he's pursuing a bachelor's degree in ministry. I would love to specialize in addiction ministry. Not a lot of people get the same chances that I got. He says he's seen firsthand what trusting God can do for your life. You know, when he says tithe to me, it means give him the first fruit, make your offerings to him. He deserves the best. He gave me his best. He didn't send one of his servants to us. He sent his son. He sent the firstborn. He sent us his first fruit. Why shouldn't we give it to him? Here's a promise from Proverbs. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Brian lived that. He, he walked that out and you saw the blessings that came to him. The same thing will happen to you. All you have to do is follow the same principle. If you'd like to start doing that, give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. Just say, yes, I want to be a member of the 700 Club. When you join, you automatically are part of everything we're doing around the world, whether that's through Operation Blessing, helping people, or through CBN International, preaching the gospel around the world. You're a part of it when you join with us. Let's go over to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? All right, thank you, Gordon. Well, when you become a CBN partner, our gift to you is Pat Robertson's latest DVD called Miracles. In this, Pat reveals three essential components that will guide you to experience God's miraculous power in your own life. Take a look. Folks, there's a power beyond the realm of human intellect. In Pat Robertson's new DVD, Miracles, learn how you can experience God's power in your life. You've said that there are three components to seeing miracles. What do you mean by that? A power that can overcome any problem. This is the normal inheritance of the children of God. And see inspirational true stories of miracles. Meet the real people who have come face to face with that power. Medicine cannot explain this. I felt the strength of God come. I am being healed. Call 1-800-700-7000 to get your copy of Miracles. Experience God's power in your life. I felt God saying, I am in complete control. This was a dead man, now he's alive. It's definitely a miracle. Miracles, experience God's power in your life. Available now. I love what Pat just said, that healing is the normal. It's the normal inheritance for the children of God. If you're a child of God, if you love Jesus, He wants to heal you. He's already done it. Just start proclaiming it. There's something so powerful that happens when you start speaking scriptures over your life. By His stripes, you are healed. He, he heals all of our diseases. He wants to heal you because He loves you. You're His child and it is your normal inheritance. We want to encourage your faith today with past new teaching called Miracles, how to pray for your miracle and watch it come to pass. This is our gift to you when you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. $20 a month is all it takes. 65 cents a day is all it takes to become a CBM partner. Now, if you're already there and so many of you are, thank you so much. You're making a huge difference around the world. But if you can do more, I'd like to encourage you to go to your phones right now and say, I want to go higher. Let's go up to our gold level, just $40 a month. 
When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three DVDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, hey, a lot of us can. Let's take it up to the 1,000 Club level, $84 a month or higher. We're going to bless you with five of our brand new teaching by Pat called Miracles, one for you, four to give away. We're in the middle of a $75,000 challenge right now with 31 minutes left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. This is a great way to make your money go twice as far, and we need your help. I'm throwing over to the beautiful. Terry. Thanks, Wendy. Well, I want you to know that the moment you join the 700 Club, you are literally helping people all over the world. People like a widow named Maria who's supporting her young son and her elderly parents. Severe flooding and mudslides in their town ruined all of their family possessions. <clears throat> but their situation became beyond desperate when Maria and her son had to beg for water by the side of the road. Take a look. When the floodwaters came to her house, Maria watched from her roof as all her earthly possessions were destroyed. So many things were destroyed. The only thing we could do was save ourselves. Torrential rainfall across Peru over the past few months has led to severe flooding and mudslides, leaving tens of thousands without power, running water, and often without even a place to sleep. Maria, her nine-year-old son, and elderly parents now sleep on the floor since their beds were washed away by the river. Sometimes you can't go on anymore. But then I think of my son. He's the reason I live. And I think I have to keep fighting for him. The sole provider for her family since her husband died four years ago, Maria tried to pick up the pieces after the water subsided and keep her family alive. With no source of clean water, they were forced to beg on the side of the road, hoping someone would bring them some water to drink. Cars passed by and we would say, water, water, but they didn't give us any. Then some people from CBN found us with our bucket and they said, let's go to the church. There is water there. CBN had arrived earlier that day. At a nearby church, we installed water purifiers, which created thousands of gallons of drinking water for this devastated community. After Maria and her family received some water, we heard about their situation and how their beds had been destroyed. So we decided to do something more for this hardworking mother and her parents. CBN surprised Maria with new beds, a mosquito net, insect repellent, and an in-home water filter. With all my heart, Thank you. Thank you for helping us. Thank you, and God bless you. With one less thing to worry about, Maria can now focus on getting her family back on their feet and moving forward. I am always thinking, work, get the things we need, and keep going. This won't be an obstacle for us, because I am going to work even harder to be able to come out of this. Thank you so much. You are going to be very blessed. I don't have to say much for you to see what an amazing difference you made in the life of this woman. She's lost her husband, she's a widow, responsible for her child as well as her aging parents. They were sleeping on slatted wood that, wasn't, that was broken in places. A mattress was out of the question, beyond the pale. And then to be able to have clean drinking water in their home on a regular basis, 700 club members, you are doing this kind of amazing work all around the world every single day. To those of you who have already joined the 700 club, we want to say thank you. Listen, if you haven't joined yet, today's the day and this is the moment and I'll tell you why. We're in a challenge. That means when you call right now, every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar. So help us get to that $75,000 uh, um, challenge right there, will you? Let me tell you how to do that. You go to your phone and you call 1-800-700-7000. You say, I want to join the 700 Club. Let me show you your options. General 700 Club membership, 65 cents a day, $20 a month. Maybe you're already there. Go up to the club, the 700 Club goal today. That's $40 a month. Or some of you might want to jump up to the 1,000 Club at $84 a month. We have 2,500 Club members at $209 a month. Our founders are at the bottom of the list there. That's 
$417 a month, $5,000 a year. Yesterday, we had lots of club members jumping up to that founder's level. Want to encourage you to consider doing that today. Ask God what he'd have you to do, but you know he wants us all to do something. And then go to your phone and call 1-800-700-7000 and join the 700 Club. Gordon? Violetta's youngest son, Juan, was in danger. He had lost half his body weight and had almost died. Her son needed surgery, but Violetta had no money to pay for it. So she prayed to God for help. Juan was born with a cleft palate. He lives in a small Guatemalan village with his older brother and sister. His mom is a 29-year-old single mother who struggles just to feed her three children. Sometimes I wash people's clothes and make tortillas from corn flour when someone hires me. But helping Juan to consume enough calories has been her biggest challenge. Milk and food fell from his mouth. He was eager to eat and drink, but he could not swallow. It dropped through his lip. Even Juan's sister, Crystal, knew he was in trouble. He got very thin and couldn't eat anything. At one point, Juan lost nearly half of his body weight due to an illness and not eating enough. He had to stay in the hospital for a week. He almost died. I prayed and asked God to send me people who could help my son. He answered my prayers when you came. When CBN met the family, we quickly arranged for Juan to travel to the city to receive free cleft lip surgery. The doctor sewed his lip, and now he's very pretty. Several months after surgery, Juan is doing great. I bless CBN for helping my son, for being the miracle that I needed for him. I'm very happy. Thank God they operated on my little brother. You can be a part of it. You can be a part of helping families around the world. And you're doing it, we're all doing it in your name if you're a member of the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing. Another portion goes into the work of CBN International. You're a part of all of it when you join with us. So if you're not a member, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. If you are a member, consider increasing. If you're a member of the 700 Club, uh, think about going to 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, now, now's the time to call and give. Now I've got some wonderful news. We've got some partners from Georgia who say they want to add to this challenge. They want to add $52,000 yes. to it. Take it to 127 and let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this. We ask for increase for the partners from Georgia who made it possible to do an increase on this challenge. And we ask for increase for those who are watching right now. Bless your people, Lord God, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 127,000 is the new amount. The clock stays the same, 23 minutes and 46 seconds. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thank you, Gordon. Well, in our new DVD, Miracles, you'll see true stories of people who've personally experienced miracles in their lives. Plus, Pat will show you how to experience the miraculous in your own life. Take a look. The Christian Broadcasting Network presents Miracles by Pat Robertson. Pat, you've said that there are three components to seeing miracles. What do you mean by that? First of all, you have to believe in God. We have to believe that there is a power beyond ourselves that can do anything. The second thing is you have to receive that for yourself. You have to believe that, okay, this is for me. It isn't just something amorphous out in the universe. This is God's power for me. And the last is, of course, you have to appropriate it for yourself and speak the word. I'm a great believer in speaking the word. We can bring curses on ourselves or we can bring blessing on ourselves. It's that appropriation of the power of God that brings about miracles. Miracles by Pat Robertson. 
Do you need a miracle today? Maybe it's a healing in your body. Maybe it's a relationship or even a financial miracle. Well, listen, there's nothing too hard for God. He is the God of miracles, and I believe he's doing miracles today. And you know what? Right now, I want to believe God with you. I am believing God. Whatever you're praying for, I'm believing for your miracle today in Jesus' name, and we're going to watch it come to pass. We want to encourage your faith with Pat's new teaching called Miracles, the keys to, <clears throat> excuse me, the keys to seeing miracles happen in your life. This is our gift to you when you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Just 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBN partner, or you can log on to CBN.com. It's another great way to give. If you're already there at $20 a month, thank you. You are making a huge difference. And I know you're being a blessing, but if you'd like to be a bigger blessing, don't we all? Let's go up to our gold level, $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three DVDs, three of Pat's new miracle teaching, one for you and two to give away. If you can go up to our thousand club level or higher, that's just $84 a month or higher. We're going to bless you with five. We are in the middle of a $127,000 challenge right now with 21 minutes left on the clock. And I'm going to throw it over to Gordon. Well, Mike and Liz Brown have never been big spenders but they've always been big givers. And now that they've retired, one of their greatest pleasures is seeing how their gifts are helping people all over the world. Mike and Liz Brown spent their lives working in the school system. Liz was a counselor. Mike was a high school principal. I absolutely loved working with people, families and children and particularly enjoyed my role as school counselor. And to just serve as a resource to them uh, in whatever way they needed. The Browns have been frugal spenders with their limited incomes, but they have given generously to people around the world. Both of our parents gave us examples in giving. And so giving for Mike and I was something that came naturally. God teaches that lesson that uh, 90% is really more than you deserve. And as long as you're giving God his 10%, I never had trouble, never had trouble making ends meet. Liz's parents had been longtime members of CBN and Liz wanted to follow in their footsteps. So years ago, she and her husband became CBN partners. Their donations have directly funded water wells around the world. They've even helped build a physical therapy center in Mongolia where disabled children learn how to walk. What I absolutely love about CBN is after we've given, we get a packet in the mail. And the thing that I always look for in those packets is how many people came to know Jesus as their Savior, because that's ultimately the most important thing. Nothing else matters. Makes me feel like I'm walking in God's way, in God's purpose two things he wants us to do for sure, and that's to put him first and treat others here on this earth as we should. Today, the Browns are retired from their teaching jobs, but they still give generously. They encourage others to do the same, and in doing so, create a lasting legacy. And when I go to heaven, I want the Lord to say, well done, daughter, look, these people came to know Jesus Christ because I invited you, daughter, to participate with me in my plan. And from that, these people got saved. Love what Liz just said. Just imagine being in heaven. What, what do you get to take with you? The only thing we get to take are the people that we share the good news with. Uh, that's what we get to take, our faith, our hope, our love, and the people that we have witnessed to, we have caused to come to know Jesus. You can be a part of that. You can be a part of that around the world by joining the 700 Club. Our hope, our desire is to see the nations come and worship Him, and we're preaching the gospel every single day. The doors that are open to us right now, the greatest opportunities in the history of CBN are available today and we want to walk through those doors, but we need your help to do that. So please consider joining with us. 1-800-700-7000, just say yes, I wanna be a part of it. If you're already a member, consider going up to 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. We also have 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year and that breaks out to $84 a month. But whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. When you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving where the bank, do, bank does all the work 
and we send as our gift to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call. Terry? Well, after Lilia's husband died, she struggled to support her four children. Soon the family had no heat, no electricity, no running water. That's when Lilia, who was still grieving for her husband, found out that she might lose her children as well. Lilia and her three children live in Transnistria near Moldova. They work hard to keep their small home tidy and their garden well tended. They're just happy to be together because not long ago they were almost torn apart. They wanted to take us away from our mother. It had only been a few months since Lilia and her children had faced another tragic loss. When my husband died, I did not want to leave. Lilia struggled to support her family, and her home fell into disrepair. They had no heat, no electricity, and no running water. But despite their desperate living conditions, Lilia's children remained devoted to her. She is my mother. She gave us life. I love her very, very much. I only wanted one thing, that my kids would be near me that they could go to school and live normally. Government social workers heard about the family's living conditions and came with an ultimatum. Make improvements in one week or we will take your children. I was so afraid that I will lose my mother forever. That's when CBN's Orphan's Promise stepped in. We heard about Lilia and her children from a local church partner in our Keeping Families Together program. We began the needed repairs to Lilia's house immediately. They helped us to make repairs. They brought seeds and all the tools we needed to plant a garden. They gave us food as we wait for our garden to grow, and two piglets. We also repaired their oven and fence and connected their house to clean running water. And to ensure that their home will never be lost to foreclosure, we help provide the funds to pay it off completely. Oh, thank you. It's ours now. I will have more opportunities for work. Thank you very much for everything. Their smiles tell the story of their gratitude. Can you imagine this mom who's doing everything she can and it's just never enough, and then facing the threat of her children being taken away? You made it possible for that family to stay together, and that's a God plan if I've ever heard one. So we want to say thank you. If you're not a 700 Club member, will you go to your phone and call right now? We're in the middle of a big challenge. It means that every dollar you give will be matched dollar for dollar. We need your help so that we can reach out to more families like Lilia's every day all around the world. So will you do that for us? Go to your phone and call. When you call and say, I want to join the 700 Club, do it using Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work, but it saves us some additional costs so that we can put even more of your gift right into the lives of people like the little family you just saw. Our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. You're going to get one of these every month. We think they will bless you, and you will have the satisfaction of knowing you are making a huge difference in the lives of people literally all around the world. So will you call now 1-800-700-7000. Thank you. Gordon. All right, I've got some great news. Some partners from Missouri want to add $60,000 to this challenge. Take it up to 187 and let's pray. Lord, we ask for a blessing over this and we ask for increase. We ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible. And for those watching right now, just encourage them. Let them know that all blessings come from you. When we put you first, then all these other things are added unto us. Do it, Lord, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. New challenge amount, 187,000, 13 minutes on the clock. Go to the phone and call us, 1-800-700-7000. Well, when you're a CBM partner, you help people all around the world and people right here at home, like Patrick, who's an infantry soldier. He and his wife, Christina, are also newlyweds. Living on a sergeant's salary isn't easy. That's why CBN's Helping the Home Front gave this couple a much needed hand up. Newlyweds Patrick and Christina didn't have much time to settle into married life. Patrick is an infantry soldier and was scheduled to leave for six months, just three weeks after the wedding. 
I'm very proud of him. It takes a brave person to do what he does, and it's scary that he's willing to sacrifice for the country that he loves. Both of them say what really sees them through is prayer. When I'm deployed, I pray all the time. I pray that she's safe. I pray that he keeps me safe as well. And I've found that he has been there several times. God plays a big part in my life and in our relationship and keeping me strong. He keeps me calm and he keeps me going. They also pray for their finances. With Patrick on a sergeant's salary and Christina still in school working only part-time, they knew they wouldn't have much. It didn't help that Patrick's truck needed repairs and they didn't have money to fix it. The newlyweds couldn't even afford to buy furniture for their first apartment together. If I can't get the household set up before I leave, I don't want her sitting on the floor. I want her to be set up. I want her to be not have any issues to worry about except school and her job when I'm gone. The couple had attended premarital counseling with ministry leaders Donnie and Michelle Bowen. The Bowens knew about their financial stress and contacted CBN's Helping the Home Front. We started planning. Donnie and Michelle invited the newlyweds to their home and started by telling them CBN would fix Patrick's truck. That's great. Yeah, yeah, it, it kind of helps. Huh? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. basically fix everything. And there was more. Helping the home front is also one to take you to Ashley Furniture and um, bless you all with <laughs> bless you all with um, some furniture. So as a newly wed couple going into a deployment, you can maybe put that money into savings. You got yourself a home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After arranging to fix the truck, they went to Ashley Home Furniture to pick out what they needed. Ashley's was happy to give CBN a big discount. The newlyweds settled into their new home before Patrick left. I'm very much grateful to CBN for doing this for the families that have to go through things like this. It's a wonderful blessing, and I hope that they continue to do it. If you want to be a blessing to people, join the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing. And if you want to see the gospel preached around the world, join the 700 Club. Because another portion goes into the work of CBN International to do just that. You're a part of all of it when you help us. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. Just say, yes, I want to join. We've got nine minutes and 29 seconds left on a $187,000 challenge. That means your giving is automatically matched up to and including that amount. So call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thank you, Gordon. When you become a 700 Club partner, we'll send you this new DVD by Pat Robertson called Miracles. In this, you'll find gripping stories of real people in impossible situations, and you'll see how the miracle working power of God delivered them all. Take a look. And I feel the air coming out of my body. Gip's brain was destroyed. It was like someone stabbed me in my stomach. He was not breathing. He had no heartbeat. It's over. What are we even praying for now? There is a power beyond ourselves that can do anything. Medicine cannot explain this. It's a miracle. To see him open his eyes was something I thought I was never going to see again. Miracles. Experience God's power in your life. The Bible says that God is the God who does miracles. There's nothing too hard for him. You know, we love our doctors, don't we? But sometimes we need a miracle. They've done all they can do. We've done all we can do. And we are just like, Lord, this is the day. I believe today is the day for miracles all over this country. I'm believing with you right now in Jesus' name that your miracle is on the way. We want to encourage you right now with Pat's new teaching called Miracles. Experience God's power in your own life and much more. This is our gift when you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. I want to help people all over the world. I want to help military families. I want to help people get clean drinking water. I want to do this and then so much more happens when you become a CBM partner. And guess what? God blesses you back. You cannot outgive him. I am 
telling you right now, go to the phones. Don't believe me. Believe what God says. He says, test me. Test me and see if I won't pour out a blessing on you that you cannot contain. Don't you want that? I want that. So go to your phones right now and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Terry? Well, Tim Ray is a hardworking truck driver. When he's not on the road, he's spending time with his wife, Vicki, and their four children. Like many families, they've had their share of financial setbacks. For a while, they even had to live in a tent. But the Rays are doing much better now, and it's thanks to the generosity of people like you. Tim and Vicki Ray and their four children enjoy every moment of family time they can. We love going to the park. We like playing sports together. We get out and then we have a lot of fun. Tim works long hours driving an 18-wheeler. I love my husband a lot, and I'm thankful for that man every day. You know, he's a hard worker. Never met a man that was so determined to work and make sure he could support his family. When Tim's hours at work were drastically cut, the family ran out of options. And for a while, the only place they had to live was a small camping tent. It can be tough times, and you don't know what you're going to do. We just have to look forward and, and keep going on. With each struggle, the Rays have leaned on God. I've learned that you can't look at the down, you have to look at the up in life when you're like on the down times. There's times that we don't know where we're going to have money to wash clothes. We've had to sit down and either pay a bill or eat. The Ray family says they experienced God's provision through Operation Blessing partner, Joseph Storehouse. Seeing the wheelbarrows come out the door to the car and seeing how much food that they give is just like, wow. I mean, that's like way more than you can get into a little shopping cart. It was really a blessing and, and my kids, their eyes were just like, oh my gosh. Operation Blessing at Joseph's Storehouse has helped us out a ton. When you don't have to worry about some groceries a month, that little bit, and that makes a huge difference. It helps. People that are able to donate and give to Operation Blessing and Trust Storehouse, I think it is an amazing thing that you're doing that because what you're doing, are, you're not just giving, you're showing them the love of God through your gift to them. The help you're giving is not just in far reaches of the world, it's right here at home to people who might be your neighbors. And we say thank you, you are making a difference. Will you call now if you haven't yet called? I'm not talking about just joining the 700 Club at a general membership level, I'm talking about increasing your level. You can make such a difference. And right now, your gift is being doubled. So call 1-800-700-7000. We need to hear from you, Gordon. Well, David is an 11 year old with a lot of responsibilities. One of them is walking a mile and a half twice a day to fetch water for his family from a pond. But not long ago, David got very sick from drinking the same dirty water. As the eldest child, 11 year old David always helps out when his parents need him. He is such a good boy. Sometimes he made food for us when we came back late from working on the farm. We love him so much. But David got sick a lot. He gets a fever and chills and terrible stomach pains. Sometimes I took him to the hospital. I was afraid David would die. Everyone knew David got sick from drinking water from this stagnant pond where he collected it for his family. He said he could tell by the smell that something was wrong. The water smells like dung and fertilizer. I am afraid to drink it, but it's all that we had. And then there's the mile and a half walk with the heavy water container. I collect water twice a day. My hands and neck hurt so much by the time I get home. So CBN came to David's village and dug a well for them. The water tastes good. It's so fresh and clean. I love drinking it. And because of the abundant water supply, David's been able to help his parents plant a garden. I grow eggplant, lettuce, and other vegetables. I'm so grateful for the new well and for the vegetable garden. Thank you very much, CBN, for the well. You can be a part of it. You can be a part of providing fresh water for people uh, and providing not just a hand out, but a hand up so that they can have a hope in a future, have a garden of their own, raise food on their own. 
uh, just give them the dignity that all people should have, that yes, you can make it. God loves you. We love you. We want to help you. You can be a part of it. All you have to do is call us, 1-800-700-7000, and say, yes, I want to be a member of the 700 Club. Terry? Grace's husband abandoned her and their infant son after Grace became a Christian. She and her son had been struggling to survive ever since. Well, then she prayed to Jesus for a better job. Now she and her son have a promising future. Here's why. Joseph's father abandoned his family when his mother Grace became a Christian. He never liked me attending church and following Jesus. We always fought about it. And after my son was born, he left us. For eight years, she worked as a maid at several homes. She struggled to provide for herself and Joseph. When I come home from school, I usually have nothing to eat and no toys to play with. Many times, my mother and I just sit and cry. They prayed to Jesus for a better job. Then Grace's pastor told her about a sewing course offered by CBN. After completing the six-month course, CBN gave everyone brand new sewing machines. By stitching blouses and dresses, I can earn enough money to take care of my son. We also gave Joseph a gift. Before, I never had toys to play with, but now you gave me a toy car. Joseph gets something else he never had, hot meals after school. I give thanks to God for giving CBN a heart to help us. Because of your help, I'm happily earning money by suing. Thank you, CBN. Dignity, hope, and the future. These are gifts you give every day to people all around the world as well as here at home when you join the 700 Club. Please call now, 1-800-700-7000. Gordon? All right, we're closing in on the final seconds on this wonderful challenge, and you can be a part of it. We want to go way over the top on this, so call us now, 1-800-700-7000. If you want to see people help, if you want to see people without fresh water, get fresh water. If you want to see children who need special surgery, whether that's heart surgery or cleft palate surgery, we want to be there for them and we're there in your name. If you want to see the gospel preached around the world, join the 700 Club. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Well, it's been a glorious morning. Uh, we had a $187,000 challenge against that you gave. Yes. We'll leave you with these words from Proverbs. If you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord and he will repay you. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.